Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Corner. It is currently a very beautiful and peaceful summer day here in London. Finally, we are enjoying a little bit of sun after a very honest few weeks of cloud and rain and 15 degrees Celsius weather. And the sun has come just in time now that I have started my summer holiday after finishing my exams earlier this week. and. As I have mentioned in the community tab, I have been itching to make videos, talk about my experiences in the past few weeks um, from like a stationary and journaling perspective. And we are now here with the second video of the week. Um, and as you might see from the title, we will be discussing the Stationary Fest in Manchester, the Stationary Fest of the UK 2024, uh, that I had the honor of going for the first time. So um, let's address a couple of things first. I have decided that um, as I'm making quite a bit of videos now in the summer weeks that I have the time, I have the headspace for it finally. Um, but at the same time, I'm doing a lot of other exciting things, um, kind of holiday and uh, taking time off type of things. Because of that, um, I don't want to spend a lot of time editing these videos and I kind of tested that with my previous video when I did a full flip through of my January to June AVEC and uh, I did not edit that video at all. It was raw footage that I uploaded on YouTube and I think it was kind of, um, it was received well uh, and thank you for that. Uh, so let's approach the videos of the next few weeks similarly where you won't see my opening title, Welcome to the Common Corner, but I will always be here welcoming you with my words. And um, I won't be kind of editing these videos in cohesive clips as I usually like to do um, to kind of shorten them down a little bit. But uh, let's treat these videos as little podcasts. Um, I am welcoming you to, to sit by my table and we'll have a little bit of a conversation, a little, little bit of a chat. <laughs> um, and it's it will be an unedited chat if, if you are okay with that. Well, I, I guess you have to be okay with that. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, thank you for your support on that video. And I am excited to now have this free flowing conversation with you about the stationary fest. And um, yes, we'll go on from there and once I have a bit more of a routine back in my life, after I finished my holiday in a few weeks, um, I might go back to then um, enjoying the perks of technology a bit more and editing my videos, putting those titles in there again and these kind of things. But um, we will flow quite freely um, now for the next few weeks. Okay, I'm repeating myself, so let's move onwards. Um, this is my current page in my new AVEC. <laughs> um, it is Thursday, it's about 11.30 a.m. and so far I have woken up around 8.30 a.m. and I felt so refreshed and the sun was shining and I was just excited to get up. So I did my little morning routine and I headed to a nearby cafe to read my book, to do a bit of commonplacing about the book, uh, writing down uh, quotes from it and so on. I am still in the um, M Train journey. So I'm reading M Train by Patti Smith at the moment. I've, I've been taking it so slowly during my exam season, not reading a lot, but now I think I'm going to finish the book in a few days. Um, so yes, I enjoyed the sun. I was sitting outside of the coffee place and I was enjoying the sun and really being grateful for this summer day. Now I've come back home and I want to talk about the stationery that I have received I have purchased from the Stationery Fest um, a few weeks back on the 29th of June and the reason I didn't make my kind of haul video right away was because I wanted to actually use the things that I had purchased and make kind of like a review at the same time. Um, so I guess we can get into it now um, and towards the end of the video if I remember I will show you the pages that I have so far um, done in my new AVEC um, but we will we will see that when we get to the end of the video apologies already if I forget to do that uh, but you will definitely see these pages by Sunday this week 
Okay, so we will actually close this book for now. <laughs> Perfectly in time, there were some car alarms. We will close this book for now and dive into what happened at the Stationery Fest. So, um, it was the day after my first exam. I was so excited to have the day off fully and to enjoy this beautiful event hosted for the second time ever in Manchester, UK. And I arrived there really early. I took the 7 a.m. train from London and I love traveling by myself and it was a really good mood. Um, when we got there, it was raining, but I thought that somehow it was fitting for the day to be rainy when I'll be spending the whole day inside of the convention center. I had some breakfast and I arrived there. Um, and very soon after I arrived, well, I did a little bit of shopping first, but I will get to that in a minute. Very soon after, um, I met up with a now dear friend of mine, uh, my moom in Bestie, uh, as some of you might know her, um, This Joe Journals here on YouTube. We had arranged to, to meet up as she also lives in London and we just thought it would be appropriate to meet up at the Stationery Fest. And she had offered me very, very kindly um, to trial the Traveler's Notebook with her um, black insert, black Traveler's Notebook insert, uh, it's not insert, black Traveler's Notebook cover. And I had of course said yes to that. So we sat down, we hugged and, and kind of caught up with each other's lives a little bit. And she then kindly gifted me this um, beautiful cardboard box, which I actually might have here. Um, here and inside of this cardboard box um, and I, she actually filmed the whole process of me opening it I was hyperventilating and I couldn't speak for a couple of minutes I was like kind of in shock of her kindness um, as I was opening this and I'm actually currently waiting for her response if it would be okay to upload the video privately but then put a link in the description of this video um, so if you are keen on seeing my live reaction to opening this, um, head into the description box to see if there's a link. But of course, I'm waiting for Joe's approval on that because I think we're both <laughs> um, quite excited in that video. And I, I'm not sure if she would like me to post it. Um, feeling very neutral if she lets me, if she doesn't, absolutely okay either way. But as I said, this video is not edited. So you'll just have to wait and see if the link will appear in the description box. <laughs> so this original string was red, but I have now replaced it with a black string. I open this beautiful packaging and inside I am faced with this linen bag uh, and inside of which is my new, um, well, second hand from Kind Joe. Um, traveler's notebook cover in black and on top of it is also sitting this little um, kind of jewelry pouch with uh, some kind of special add-ons that she has also kindly gifted to me. So I would like to start this video by talking about my new traveler's company um, cover and because inside of it is a lot of the things that I did purchase from the stationery fest. So we are going to start with that. Um, okay, <laughs> drum roll please. I am very excited because a few months back I did purchase some things from the Stationery Fest. Sorry, <laughs> I, I'm really messing up with my words. I did purchase a couple of things from Traveler's Notebook Company and I had just kind of found out about them and visited the London Graphic Centre and they carry some of the Traveler's Notebook kind of stationary and, and add-ons. So I got a couple of things from them just to see how I feel about the products. And um, I think under that video, Joe kindly said that it seems like you'd like to maybe try out uh, the, the system. And here we are. Now I am holding my very first Traveler's Company cover. That's my attempt at a drum roll. Here it is. <laughs> it is so beautiful um, and before I go any further for anyone who's worried I am not moving out of my epic um, I'm using this 
um, this notebook in a very, very different way than I'm using my EVEC and I will explain it all to you. So basically um, it came with the black string, but as you might know, I'm a big fan of the combination of black and red and I use a red pen amidst my black ink in my EVEC. So I changed out that uh, red string from the box into this book. Oh my goodness, I'm getting flashbacks to how excited I was when I was first receiving this gift. <laughs> um, she also gifted me this Traveler's Company camera charm that I put in this elastic. She knew that I had been wanting to do some more photography um, this summer because I, I have been a photographer for about 10 years or so. Um, kind of um, doing a lot of document documentative personal photography, personal documentative photography. Um, and some of you, based on the last video, were keen to see some of my photography, so I will be uploading some of that in the community tab in the next few weeks. Um, so yes, she kindly gifted me this charm and it fits so perfectly. It fits so perfectly. Um, you can also see here um, a couple of the brass additions that Traveler's Company makes. Um, this one is something that I had purchased by myself um, as one of the first things from Tra Traveler's Company to keep my AVEC books, um, my AVEC pages open when I'm journaling. Um, but now somehow it just fits this vibe so much better. Let's put it there. And she gifted me this as well as this little air, uh, airplane um, kind of bookmark as well. Shall we open it? Let's open it. Um, because inside of this is going to be an, kind of an inventory of the things that I purchased at the Stationery Fest. So we are going to use that as a guide for this video. Okay. <laughs> so this clip here, I have slotted in a little picture of a girl eating noodles, because that is me. Um, that looks like me a lot. Actually, where I got this from was um, at this new... Um, I believe it was a Vietnamese restaurant and their menus was this huge A3 size foldable menu and in the front of it was the menu in, in red text and on the back of it was this beautiful illustration of um, talking through all the dishes that they have and the culture behind the dishes, the history behind the dishes and they just were like it was kind of like in this food court so you can just take the menu <laughs> of course I took it and I cut it up and as I said I love red so I put one of that here I put another um, illustration here which is just people enjoying this food court um, I guess um, in Vietnam kind of that kind of illustration um, actually I'm not sure if it was a Vietnamese place goodness someone will need to correct me on that they had like bao buns and it might have been okay i i i'm not exactly sure exactly which um i want to say it was either a okay well that's not the point of the video i guess <laughs> i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna have a think about that but i it might have been either a vietnamese place or a taiwanese place might have been a taiwanese place okay Regardless, I have put that here in the beginning of my book system. So as you can see, it's gotten quite thick and I have found a brilliant way to use this um, notebook. Um, actually, I had been looking into uh, different options for myself to um, store my stationery in, in a way that's very smart and compact. Um, I know that I don't want to st store my stationery and my, my stickers and stuff in the same cover that I have my EVEC in because it will get very bulky and it would be an unpleasant writing experience. Inside of this book, I just want to carry my, my fountain pen, the pen that I'm writing with, my red pen, um, a couple of kind of um, carry-ons that I am very soon going to be putting in my EVEC, as well as my uh, two companion books and then, of course, my EVEC. So that's all I want to be carrying in my EVEC and um, and then also some additional things here which I'll get into in a little bit because they are some new additions. So I have been looking into a system to organize my stationery in and um, 
I had actually been thinking about the Filopax ring system because you could be hole punching things and putting a lot of like things into the pocket, pocket of the Filofax. And I actually found a Filofax personal sized uh, ring ring system at my local charity shop for 75p. And I am actually selling it. So if anyone is interested, I'll like, please email me. It's in my um, channel details on the front page is my email. Um, if you're interested in it, I will be selling it for a very limited, very, very little price. Um, yes um it's it's yours if you if you'd like it <laughs> so okay um yes uh, because i was thinking about using that as my uh, stationary kind of organization system but i tried it out and it really doesn't work for me um i don't like the the kind of ring system somehow something about having to open and close it and the sound that it's making is a bit um not quite fitting for me personally so when i received this i knew exactly what to do <laughs> Um, let's go through the inserts that I have in here. Um, all of them I did purchase from a Traveler's Notebook stall at the Stationery Fest. Um, and inside of here is a lot more of the other things that I got from there. So let's start with how I've organized this, this book. So firstly, what you see here is in a, one of these pouch inserts. Um, yes, so one of these pouch inserts that I have then slotted these two notebooks inside of. Um, here is the card from Jo that she so kindly wrote for me. Um, and uh, she just wrote a beautiful message at the back. Um, she offered that I can use this uh, cover for as long as I'd like, even if that's forever. And that just completely melted my heart. <laughs> um, so yes, I have that stored in there. And I some quite often like slot some receipts and stuff in there just for temporary storage before I transfer them on into my AVEC. Um, and then here, this is kind of just my decorative <laughs> page. And I have this beautiful um, business card from a restaurant called Bubala in central London. Um, it's a vegetarian place and my friend works with the company so we went there yesterday actually and had a brilliant lunch there and the business card was just so beautiful that I just slotted in here for good memories. Okay, um, then we have one of the Traveler's Notebook regular sized um, inserts in grid and I got this because there was a stationary notebook I'm getting mixed up with all my words. A Traveler's Notebook meetup at the Stationery Fest. And I know that they do a stamp for the meetup. So I wanted somewhere to collect that stamp. And a lot of the other stalls at the fest were also offering stamps of their kind of company. And I wanted to collect some of them. So I got this insert for it. And I was also just curious to try out the paper um, with my fountain pen. Um, so let's start from here. I've decorated the cover here and inside I've just put the title for this book, which is a common collection of extra ephemera and swatches and sketches uh, starting from the 29th of June, which was the day of the stationery fest. And I have decorated that with a few stickers that I got from there as well. Of course, I always have my index, uh, even for this notebook that's quite um, doesn't really have a system, it's just a collection of extra stuff, but I still always like to have an index. I have the Traveler's Notebook Meetup stamp here uh, at the Stationery Fest, and I note down, noted down the date here. Then I have some other Stationery Fest stamps from various stalls, and I did a little bit of a reflection here um, about the Stationery Fest and about getting this insert and just my first initial thoughts. Here are some other uh, stamps from the Stationery Fest and a collection of swatches. So um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> that uh, this was written with Joe's, one of Joe's beautiful fountain pens. Um, it was a special edition between Leonardo and Stilo Estile, which is, I think, other, I think it's a French uh, stationery brand. Um, I'm sorry, Joe, if this is not pen, and I'm sorry, Bronte, if this is actually your pen. 
I couldn't remember which one it was, so I just put a heart there. I know that the double broad nib Kaweco Sport with this brilliant kind of shining ink is from Bronte. Um, so Bronte was also sitting at this kind of uh, cafe slash resting spot where me and Joe met. So we just called over Bronte because I was going to meet up with her anyway. And we just had a lovely chat with also Bronte's mum was there, which I thought it was so fun. And we had a really nice chat about um, kind of just introducing ourselves and uh, Bronte and Joe were showing me their uh, fountain pens and I was writing with them <laughs> um, and it was super fun. So I just noted that down here and um, then, wait a minute, I already had this insert at that point so I must have gone and picked it up just right away. Um, that's interesting. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, the other pen that I wrote with here was the Univall 1 in 0.5mm in black ink. Um, and this is, I think, a gel pen that a lot of people are a big fan of. And I had actually just been thinking about getting this pen. And uh, Joe had actually then kindly gifted it to me before I had the chance to get it. Uh, so I just wrote a little swatch of that in there as well. Um, I have been enjoying writing a lot of my revision notes with this pen. I trialed it on the Hobonichi Tomo River paper as well, and it writes beautifully. But right now I'm just such a big fan of writing with my fountain pen that that's kind of my go-to at the moment. But um, this is a brilliant pen and I am waiting to see if they have some um, kind of uh, refills for it, because if they start to do refills and sell them, or if I find a place that sells the refills, I might start to use this one a bit more often. Um, and then another swatch that I did here was with my new Zebra Click Art pen. Uh, I guess it's not a pen, it's a um, felt tip pen. Uh, it's a similar tip that the kind of highlighters have from this same, the Zebra Mild Liner um, highlighters have, but it's a bit more of a fine nib. And I just thought that this color was beautiful and I loved the <laughs> clicking aspect of it um, and I had told myself that I can get a colorful um, fine liner from there so this was my fine liner of choice and this is how it looks like on this paper um, and from the same stall that I got this from and um, the stall had a lot of really wonderful Japanese stationery um, and goodness, because I don't remember their name. I wonder if I have their... I'm afraid that I don't have their um, card here. But um, if anyone is interested where, what the stall was that carried all of this Japanese stationery, um, message me and I'm gonna find out for you. But unfortunately I can't edit this video, so I'm not, I can't put it on the screen for you. Um, but from but I guess if you are after this fine liner, uh, you can find it from various stationery stores. But um, I did uh, really enjoy the stall that had all of these beautiful pens. So I would want to give them the credit they deserve. But unfortunately, I'm sorry, my memory is failing me at the moment. Um, but from the same place, I also received, not received, I purchased these um, stamps that I have been. Are they stamps? Yes, stamps. Yes. The stamp, the name. Yes, the stamp. The stamps that I have been actually looking for quite a long time now. And what I thought was hilarious is that if you have watched um, this Joe Journal's video on the Stationery Fest, you can see that she actually purchased the exact same um, stamp as me. And we didn't discuss that when we were there. So I just thought it was really fun <laughs> that she had picked up the same exact thing. Um, and is actually using it very similarly to me, which is to note down the weather for the day in the monthly view of the Hobonichi cousin Avec. Um, however, I think she's changing the weather tracking to her weekly view, but however, I'm, I'm using it for my monthly views, um, which I'll show you a little bit later, but I did a swatch of this one just here and another one which I got, which are kind of these um, journaling related stamps there's an open book a closed one a fountain pen nib ink 
a clampy thing and tape and the way you use these is just brilliant and I had a long chat with the sellers about these a stamp because I was curious how long they last for because they are self inking stamps so basically you don't have to like ink them but they already carry the ink inside so whenever you want to use one of them you just align it where with wherever you want to place the stamp and you just very gently click it and then the stamp is there it is so satisfying it is really satisfying um same thing here I'd like to just demonstrate how beautiful just the stamp is um, it's quite small so I am doubtful if you'll be able to see it on the camera but the detail is just brilliant and it dries just right away it's really dry so there isn't a lot like any kind of bleed as well um, just a slight shadow on this kind of um, paper so really brilliant and I have been using it in my decoration of my my daily pages as well as whenever I do some common placing about fountain pens I like to stamp a little fountain pen nib and ink there as well um, so these are the two uh, self inking stamps that I got and they told me that each one of them has 10,000 10, stamps um, and when I was thinking about if I should get them that that was the thing that sold it to me because I have been using um, weather stickers from Midori recently to note down the weather, um, especially in my previous EVAC. And of course those stamps are limited. <laughs> there is, there's maybe like 20, 20, sorry, those stickers are limited. There's maybe like 20 stickers per weather, but this one has 10,000 stamps per type of weather. So I'm not mad about it. I am really enjoying using these and I think they will last me for a long time. But I will of course update you when they do run out. Um, but I don't expect it to be anytime soon. <laughs> All right. So those were some of the things that I got this from this one uh, stall. And if we go on onwards, uh, these are some of the business cards that I uh, collected. There was a lot more of them as well, but I used them in other ways and to decorate. Um, I especially enjoyed uh, one mini store, uh, which which carried a lot of uh, East Asian, like Korean, uh, Chinese, and I guess also from Hong Kong. I think the ladies were from Hong Kong. Uh, they carried stickers from there and they were just my style. I really liked them. So yeah, that was wonderful. Uh, one mini store, I really recommend them. They do have a local business in England, and I think they also have a online store. Very nice. Uh, and I'm gonna keep collecting stationary business cards here. So then if I'm looking for uh, inspiration or to do some shopping, um, I can just look through these and find what I'd like to see from there. From Tilly Rose, I think she's quite a popular uh, sticker maker and, and, and artist. She has other things other than just stickers as well. I, I, but I only did buy a few stickers from her, uh, which I'm gonna show you later. Um, I've done some sketching in here with my with my fountain pen, um, and archived some letters as well, and some extra ephemera. As I said, I'd be using this for some extra ephemera. <laughs> um, so this was actually something that. I collected from my day yesterday with my friend. And then here is my Stationery Fest inventory. Mm, so I wanted to start with this gift from Jo, uh, because it's, it's, it's just, I'm so grateful for her. And it includes the, the cover, the camera charm, the accessories like this beautiful brass um, page marker, the card, as well as a the Tokyo Special Edition Traveler's Notebook sticker, as well as a folder. So let me show you those now. The folder that I'm talking about here is one of these loose folders from Traveler's Company. And I think this is a 2023 um, edition. And she so kindly gifted it to me because she knows how much I love coffee and I love my notebooks. So this is a coffee and notebooks um, folder. And I am just keeping a lot of things loose in here uh, before I have a chance to organize them and archive them 
uh, but I really just like to collect things in here and look through them at times and just I just keep it at the back of this um, cover. And then perhaps I should now go into the stickers that I got from the stationery fest as well as from Joe. <sighs> Okay, let me take a pause because I'm 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 getting quite excited and I don't want to start talking too quickly. Okay, so I was educated that one of the things that you must get from Traveler's Company is their sticker release paper notebook and you can see it peeking through here. Um so I picked it up and I I don't have a large collection of stickers um, and I was looking into expanding that collection a little bit because I had been noticing that like there's a lot of things that I'm kind of often looking for when I'm decorating my AVEX daily pages um, and I just wish I had a bit more of a wider variety of stickers to use um, so that was going to be my main kind of goal is to expand that collection just a little bit at the stationery fest and that I did do indeed. And I'm really, really happy with the things that I picked up. So this is the common collection of my stickers, this insert. I purchased it at the Traveler's Notebook stall at the Stationery Fest. Um, and I'd like to just flip through it for you, I guess. And um, these are some of the things that I had already beforehand. And most of these I picked up at the Stationery Fest, especially from this page. So here are some stationery related um, stickers. I have always tried to include the maker of the stickers at the bottom because they often include that in the um, on the sticker sheet. So these are from Cherry Rabbit, all of these kind of pastel-y colored stationery uh, related stickers. Or it says actually here, art supplies. And then I have some um, Midori stickers here at the top. Uh, these are a few really cute frog stickers from Grumpy Nook. Um, they were sold kind of individually, so I don't have a little label for them here, but it's Grumpy Nook, N-O-O-K. Um, and I think they are actually taking a break in four days. So if you are planning on purchasing from them, I would go now. <laughs> um, I got this planner sticker of this frog being excited about their planner. Um, I identify with this little frog. And then there's another one um, sitting on top of a cute mushroom playing the Nintendo Switch, which I also play. And I just really enjoyed these two, so I, I picked them up. And um, these two stickers were actually from a friend of mine that I met after the Stationery Fest and she gifted me a lot of her, her stickers and we had a little bit of a sticker exchange. Um, I was really grateful to meet her there for the first time and um, I look forward to like um, keeping in contact and I think you know who you are so hi. <laughs> I think she might also be starting a YouTube channel soon perhaps. I'm waiting for the confirmation on that but um, I will shout out her channel when that does happen but also kind of these cozy mushroom stickers to go along with this theme here. Um, these are from B-Side Label, uh, some sticker that my dad had picked up from Japan for me. Um, I guess you can order them online from B-Side Label. This is perhaps one of my favorite spreads in this sticker release um, book. So just for anyone who doesn't know, you can put all of your stickers in here and they come off really easily, but they also stay in place. And it's a way to just organize all of your stickers. And as a person who used to collect stickers when I was younger, like maybe in third grade or something, this is just like, like I find it really, I've, I've been reinvigorated somehow. Like uh, my inner child is really enjoying this a lot and I won't deny my inner child uh, from the joy that it's seeking. So um, yeah. And this is the beautiful Tokyo Special Edition sticker from Traveler's Company um, that Joe gifted me. And actually, they I think there's like maybe six stickers or something like that that come in the pack. This is actually my favorite one. And I'm looking to expand my collection and maybe get the rest of the stickers from this 
release as well. But this this little fish is my favorite. And I actually have another one just here, but like a smaller one that I had picked up from um, Odd Loop. So these are some Japanese styled stickers from Odd Loop. Um, and here is some further kind of Japanese style stickers from, and this is actually from one mini store, but the maker is um, NB Co. LTD Japan. <laughs> they have an online store if you wish to pick these up. Um, but I recommend checking out one mini store first because they are a business that sells them here in the UK. Um, and they have this really beautiful like uh, Japanese paper um, that's really enjoyable to touch as well as this beautiful kind of gold detailing. I hope you can see that. And I've been using them actually quite a lot. There used to be a lot more, but now they are living in the pages of my EVEC. <laughs> Um, these I also got from my friend, um, the one that also gifted me these stickers. She was very kind to, to give some of her stickers that she no longer is using to me, and I was happy to receive them. Um, but Nom Kakai on Instagram is the maker of these stickers. N-O-M-K-A-K-A-I-I. -I. <laughs> and of course you can see the infamous um, Yoshitomo Nara sticker. I have been using these stickers for a long time now. Um, I do not know where they are from because my kind friend gifted them to me almost a year ago and I have been using them very carefully, mostly on the covers of my notebooks. Um, but this is from Yoshitomo Nara. Here we have some food related stickers. This whole page once again was gifted to me. Um, they're very cutesy, um, which I am starting to enjoy more and more. <laughs> um, and I'm using them carefully but consistently and then we have some angsty burger diner uh, stickers from the angsty bowels the the three angsty bowels okay so three angsty b-a-o-s -B three angsty bowels on instagram as well um it's really cute <laughs> I, I really like them um so these were also gifted to me, but this Animal Crossing sticker I did purchase for myself. Um, and I think it's from a store. I have their um, card here, if you just give me a very small moment. Um, however, I'm using their business card because it was a really sturdy one as a washi tape holder. It's called Cute Stickers Only. So I think Cute Stickers Only was selling this sticker. I think oh, it's actually uh, really difficult to remember the maker of all of these stickers and the stall. I should have like kind of made some better notes on that um, from exactly from which stall I have all of these stickers from. But that is a note for myself for next year because I am definitely going to the Stationery Fest again next year in June. I'm already looking forward to it. I think that's going to be the place that I always stock up on my stickers on a yearly basis. And... I'm going to try and limit my sticker shopping and other times of the year um, because it's really a nice opportunity to support some small businesses and their stickers and see them in person as well. So it's really lovely. Uh, this is a sticker that I had gotten in Lunar New Year from a very small um, Hong Kong based company called Loon Lapin, L-U-N-E-L-A-P-I-N dash art on Instagram. <laughs> I just want to give credit to all of these beautiful sticker makers. Um, but yes. All right. Uh, these are some of the things that I did purchase uh, by myself at the Stationery Fest. Um, this is from Oggy's Club, uh, also from Cute Stickers Only. I am now starting to think that this is not from Cute Stickers Only because it was not the same stall. Um, Joe, you got some... Um, mushroom stick no frog stickers you got some frog stickers from this doll can you remind me <laughs> which um maker it was um maybe in the comments or you can message me privately and i can put it in the in the um description <laughs> uh, when the time comes that uh, i find out the maker of this okay let's move on <laughs> so this was from cute stickers only and i remember that uh, even though the maker of the art stickers here is Cherry Rabbit, Cute Stickers Only was 
selling this sticker sheet in their stall. They had a lot of stickers, cute stickers, as their name in, uh, implicates, indicates. Um, I really like this because it has kind of these replications of really famous pieces of art, but kind of um, twisted in this funky way that they're like other ghosts or bees. And there's this ghost uh, museum, like a security guard <laughs> that's excitedly showing off these um, paintings. And I think these are really kind of gonna come in handy, like more towards the autumn time. And the same thing goes for these beautiful stickers from Honey Plum Paper. Um, these were individually, so I individually picked up all of these ones. And I'm really happy with the ones that I did pick up. Okay, then are these beautiful illustrated stickers from Killer Views. She was wonderful. And we had also a little bit of a chat about our notebooks. She uses the Hobonichi Kazanavec in A6 size and she's thinking about having seen my Hobonichi cousin in A5 she's thinking about using that next year so I will be excited to see that she does post about her journal on Instagram at Killer Views so I do recommend checking that out and you see, as you can see <clears throat> her illustrations are really beautiful as well And the next page is also her, her illustrations mostly. Uh, these two are just from Midori and this sticker, this illustration of Yungi of um, Suga from BTS is from years and years and years ago. Um, and I got it gifted, so I unfortunately don't know the maker of this, but it is really, really beautiful. Yes, years ago. Um, so. What I must say is that it has been really fun going through the little sticker collection that I did have previously and kind of archiving, quote unquote, archiving these stickers in here. And I look through this sticker book, I think every day, like I look through it, it gives me so much joy to see all of this beautiful work of art. And I pick and choose from these stickers um, and decorate my avec with them. And I'm really excited to show my avec um, in this video later on and you can see how these stickers are starting to appear in those pages. Um, this one, this and this one are from Alex Thomas Cre Illustration at Alex Thomas Creative on YouTube and Instagram as well, I think, perhaps. Um, I love their stickers. They're really beautiful. And these are also from Honey Plum Paper. And then I just have some Moomin stickers here. I actually had a lot more because there was another, um, well, there was actually a lot of people who liked Moomin at the Stationery Fest and I got gifted some Moomin stickers as, as well as I also gave away some of my Moomin stickers. It was like a fun exchange. So I had a lot more, but I have been using them. So <laughs> the collection is reducing itself. This is a collection of these fashion stickers from Marfa Journal, fashion magazine. And that kind of extends here as well. Then a little bit of a random collection of things. This one is from B-Side Label for my dad. Um, some stickers, kind of vintage feeling stickers. And the feeling of kind of vintage continues kind of here as well as over here. And in between here, I have some more illustration stickers from Alex Thomas Creative. These stickers are from Hobonichi, as well as are these. Um, some mushroom stickers that I've had from, for years. I had hundreds of these, but I have slowly been using them up. And these are the only ones that I have left. And they are patiently waiting for their turn to be used in August, September, October time. These I have been gifted, so I don't unfortunately know the maker of them. But I say thank you to my friend who gifted them to me. I think this is just from Flying Tiger. Um, Tiger is a company that, or Flying Tiger is a company that extends across Scandinavia and maybe some parts of Europe as well as the UK. Mm, and they just have this stationary sticker book. Um, and I have, they're, they're just really good staples to have. Um, and I put some of my favorites in here that I think I'm gonna use shortly. These vintage styled stickers were um, I got them from Amazon, I think, just from Amazon, and 
because I had like an expiring gift card that I used to get something else as well. I mentioned it in a previous video and now I can't pinpoint what the actual main uh, purchase was. Oh, I think it was my phone case uh, for this phone. <laughs> and just to make the free shipping and to, to use up the rest of that card, um, I just purchased these stickers because I thought um, better to use up the, the gift card as it was expiring. Okay, this is one of my favorite pages as well. I do love my coffee and I got these stickers from um, the same store that I mentioned, one mini store, and I just, I saw them and I couldn't resist. Uh, I have actually been looking for some coffee related stickers because I use those really often as I am drinking coffee daily. Uh, so I like to decorate my pages with that. So I got these stickers from the Stationery Fest and then yesterday I got these stickers from the Dory. They are coffee related illustration stickers. I really like them. Uh, these little ones here are also from the Dory and then these ones are from this roll of stickers and maybe someone in the comments can educate the rest of us. I forgot the name of this type of sticker. It's basically where you have this roll and you cut out what you want to use and then you just peel off the backing and then it's 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 it can be used as a sticker so you can't use these as stickers like you can't peel them off from here but the actual roll itself is a sticker <laughs> so if you wanted you could just take off the backing from this entire roll and paste it somewhere as a sticker um, but I cut off some of my favorite bits and something that I intend to use very soon and just put it in here so that I can see it and use it and this was also gifted to me um, by the friend that I saw after the stationery fest um, but she purchased it from the stationery fest um, but I should have asked for the maker of this once again um, there's a lot of notes for myself for the next time around so this and this one I think this one was from um, Tilly Rose I think is her name yeah, Tilly Rose. And right next to her was this other maker that, goodness, I really, I should have noted down the name of. Um, maybe I will find it on Instagram, actually, because I know I can find it on Instagram. And I got these two from them. And what was actually funny is that I saw that Joe had also picked up the same sticker. I saw it on her YouTube video, but we didn't know that at the time that we had picked up the same sticker, but just on separate occasions. And they had a wonderful deal that if you shop from both Tilly Rose and from this one, um, you get a little freebie sticker. So the freebie was this pencil, as well as this Stationery Lovers Cup Club sticker. And I think I also got this Don't, Don't Let Self Doubt Haunt You see-through sticker with white uh, details from Tilly Rose as well. Um, it was fun to shop for some of these bigger stickers and... Um, I'm storing them here because I have some speci specific ideas for how I want to use them in the next couple of months. So they are just waiting for their turn here. This is just a random collection of things that just didn't really have their own place. Same thing here and at the back. I think I have one more page to use. But I am using all of these kind of quite consistently and enjoying organizing them around to make more space for... Um, anything else and to make just the organization a bit more useful as time goes on so yeah those were the stickers and I think that was the main thing that I had been excited to show you and I could go on <laughs> but um, we are here for a limited time the next um, I have my insert that I had actually previously already owned uh, from the Traveller's Company, um, but I had kept it in my commonplace book, at the back of my commonplace book with a little elastic band, uh, but now I finally got to put it in an actual cover. And then here I just keep my notebook, and as well as these sticky notes that I have been using a lot when I was studying, but I think I will continue to use them, but just a bit differently now that I don't have to study anymore <laughs> um, for the summer break. I think I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. I have been talking a lot the last few days. But yeah, these are just, um, this is just a space for 
some illustrations from Megan Rhiannon, some illustrations from Yoshitomo Nara, uh, basically uh, things that I don't have a sticker back in them, so I am just keeping them here. All right. Um, I think one thing that I need to maybe set straight because I, I met a lot of people at the stationery fest and I introduced myself with my own first name. Um, I think a lot of people were referring to me as CC for Common Corner, uh, especially uh, one of my now friends. Um, but I introduced myself kind of by accident with my with my real name, with my real first name. Um, at the stationery fest and I think as time goes on more and more people will know me as well, as my first name um, and of course I don't want to uh, give out my my full name on the internet I would prefer to not do that um, but even here just now I know that I can't edit out my like I edit out this this video and I have made some reflections on it and I don't mind if the stationery and journaling community knows me with my first name, which is L. <laughs> so, hi everyone, nice to meet you. I am CC slash L. <laughs> um, I just thought that I would put that out there because uh, we have become friends now and I thought it would be fair that you knew me with my, with my name. So, nice to meet you. I'm L. <laughs> It's a very short and simple name, but it suits me well. And yes, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go back to my inventory um, and think about if there's anything else that I'm missing out here. Um, so I've gone through my stickers. I've gone through the beautiful things that Joe gifted me. Um, I've shown you the inserts that I have here. And I think one thing is that I... I wanted to show you is that I stopped by this um, guy's stall called Dr. Jeff and I actually have his I have his uh, business card here here you can see it Dr. Dr. Jeff G-E-O-F um, he said that he is an actual doctor so he has a, a doctorate in physics I think he's a physicist um, and he had a lot of fun illustrations but what I got from him was this um, illustration that he actually made as I was watching him make it. And the reason he made this was because I kind of by mistake <laughs> told him that I have recently um, gotten my first fountain pen and he got very excited by that. And um, I also love to watercolor, even though I haven't shown you a lot of my watercolor or any actually. I haven't shown you any of my watercolor pieces here, but I do love to watercolor and... He showed me this way that you can, if you're using water-based ink in your fountain pen, you can make a drawing and you can use one of these like water-filled uh, watercolor um, kind of, mm, I have actually an example here, so let me just show that to you. Or do I? Yes, I do. So one of these things, I actually don't know the actual English name for these, but you basically fill this with water. Oh my gosh, it's not coming loose. Okay. <laughs> I think it's been unused for just a bit too long. I haven't used this specific one in like half a year. But this should come on lo like loose. You can fill this part with water and the water will, will flow through um, this brush here. And then you can spread or use, use it to watercolor. Or in this case, you can use it to spread the fountain pen ink and kind of do this beautiful shading. So this is one of his illustrations and he made it for me there in real time. So, and he used for that a black ink as well as, as, well as this beautiful brown tan uh, beige ink. And he just showed me how to use it. And I'm very excited to start maybe experimenting with fountain pen ink a bit more as well. So that was from Dr. Jeff. Thank you, a huge thank you for him for that one. And then I've shown you my zebra click, I've shown you my stamps, um, I've kind of shown a couple of the gifts that I've got from friends there, from some new friends. Ah yes, so they also had a stand that was selling various Hobonichi uh, products and that was the first time that I've seen a physical 
um, kind of Hobonichi product in like real life before purchasing it. And it was really fun. I browsed around at that stall and I ended up picking this pencil board that I have been wanting to get for a really, really long time. But I just, I just haven't gotten around to it. And I'm really glad to have picked it up. And I used, I, I, I chose uh, this Hobonichi Weeks size because I just think that the A5 and the A5 is just way too big for me to actually use it as a ruler and to rest my hand on it. And the A6 is just a bit too short. <laughs> so this was the perfect size for me to use um, to make my margins, like to, to make my margins in one continuous line rather than with the short ruler that I've had before. So let's actually put this aside because I think I can remember the rest of my um, the things that I want to show you. Thank you for, for Joe once again. I have just been having the best time organizing my stationery in that cover. <laughs> so let me show you how, I've, how I have been using this pencil board. Apologies, the book is not going to be completely in shot here, I think. So um, let me... Oh, some smudges here. That's okay. I will actually show it to you in real time. So previously, I used to use this stencil from Hobonichi that I love to use as a stencil, but I also used to love using it as a ruler. But as you can see here, um, if I want to draw my margin all the way here, it just doesn't reach that way. And often the line is not very continuous. I'm very bad at making the margin continuous when I have to draw it in two goes. So now instead, I can just use this pencil board to make one continuous line and it just makes my life a little bit easier uh, just from there there we go and when the summer is a bit more hot and my hands are a bit more sweaty and i don't want to smudge my ink i can write like this and avoid smudging anything from underneath my margins have been working really well because I recently made the change to Oh, sometimes I like to add little like changes, but I recently made the change to also draw a line underneath my to-do list for the day and I really enjoy how that looks and it kind of limits my writing space and makes it a bit more clear. Um and then of course I would also do my usual dashed line here. Um, and I'm also using just this to make it. And it has been working really well and I enjoy it a lot. I'm excited to see if in this year's Hobonichi release or in next year's Hobonichi release, I guess, uh, there's gonna be some fun designs and I might think about getting another design for this. But as you might have noticed, I'm quite a minimal person and I just like to have just the simplest setup, black cover, the simplest colored pencil board <laughs> um, nothing too fancy because I like to think that I want to keep think my things for as long as possible and because of that I choose kind of the minimal looking things so that I can make sure that I don't get really bored with it and that it goes with whatever style of journaling I want to do the other thing I got from that stand was just one of the Hobonichi stencils Another one that I have been wanting to get, but once again, I haven't wanted to order it from somewhere else because I wasn't exactly sure if I would like it, but I got to see it in person and I have really been enjoying it. Um, I've been making these little addition, additional like decorations in my monthly page as well as in my daily pages. And yes, I guess this could be a point for me to show you um, my current monthly page in the new EVEC. I am just absolutely loving. <laughs> I'm just absolutely loving this event. I am already feeling so at home in it. And I just couldn't believe how nervous I was to move into this event. Um, because everything is just working out so well. And there's my stamp for the day to mark how sunny it is. Okay, let's actually put this back where it belongs. I'm usually keeping it inside of this little cover here. There we go. So keeping up with my habits, June, I decorated a little bit, um, but July is the real uh, deal here that I'm using every day. 
um, writing in the plans in red has been working out great. Mood chart. I'm actually changing the look of my mood chart a little bit this month and seeing how I like if I just do dots and I just connect the dots but not all the way. And I quite like how it looks. Uh, but let's see how I feel when we get to the end of July. The weeks have also been working out great. I am so glad that this final week of revision is over and done with and we can move to this super fun week <laughs> that I've I just love decorating. It is looking quite full, but I'm not mad about it. I actually really like it. And there's no more green highlighter because the green highlighter means studying. No more of that. Only red for social events. And now I have been using gray as kind of these um, maybe personal like things that I'm doing just by myself and scheduling them in, such as making a video on Sunday and watching the England versus Netherlands game yesterday. <laughs> England won! Yay! So they're gonna have a final game on Sunday, England versus Spain for the Euro Cup. And I don't usually watch sports, but everyone in England has been really excited about this football tournament, the Euro Cup, and I've just been enjoying the ride with them. <laughs> okay, Um, and I guess I'll just show you my weekly, I mean my daily pages, before we round off the video. And there's just one more thing that you can see here that I want to show you, which is the last thing that I got from the Stationery Fest. I did not, I had a budget that I had been saving up for it and I only exceeded my budget by one pound for the whole trip. So I'm quite proud of myself for that. Um, I had been saving up money for it um, and uh, managed it quite well, I think. <laughs> it was difficult, but I managed it. So let's take a moment and um, mostly saying that to myself because I'm really excited. I have been enjoying these daily pages a lot and it was indeed good to get a refreshment, change into a new book, start fresh and enjoy the fact that this book is not yet bulking up and it's a really easy to write on. So here's my cover page for July. Um, I used multiple things that I got from the Stationery Fest. Um, someone gifted me this little strip of Moomin, Moomin washi tape and it was just, I mean, can't go wrong with that. Um, and I just wrote here kind of a little bit of a meditation on the summer, hoping that there is going to be a summer of lightness and of freedom, because of course, if I don't pass one of my exams, I'll have to retake it and I would really hope for that not to happen. I received my results on the 18th, so next week, Thursday, I will keep you updated. Um, fingers crossed I pass them. Uh, here I just included some of my photography actually from uh, June, from June, and I just put those there as a reminder that I can keep doing photography and enjoying it in July as well. I just had such a great time making this first page here. Um, here I just had some medicine related decoration. Um, I'm going to quickly check that. Yes, we are in view, good. So some medicine related decorations. Here I was still full on in revision mode and I was doing these kind of physical exams and um, showcasing my physical clini clinical skills on Wednesday and Friday. So hence there's kind of these this kind of mood here. Um, and it was really good actually to have these breaks within my revision to decorate, but also still keep it kind of relevant with the medical aspect of things. This is from Killer Views. And then you can see some of these that Japanese stickers that I showed you earlier. This is just a stamp that I've had for a long time. I went to one of my favorite uh, Japanese cafes or like tea houses in Angel in London. And I always like to include one of their business cards in every single one of my effects. Um, so that's there. I did a little bit of a drawing of my matcha iced matcha latte. And I actually use this to color it. It's the perfect matcha color. <laughs> um, this is just a freebie, a free washi tape that I got from Cute Stickers Only. Whenever you made a purchase with them, you got to dip your hand in this mystery um, bucket <laughs> and it has some washi tapes in it. Um, 
and uh, these are just some of the stickers that I got from my friend. Um, <laughs> Here are some of those moment stickers that I had been using and uh, decorating with a little England flag. Uh, this was actually, I thought was really funny because I put down this um, mommy and papa sticker and he was running and then that day was really rainy and I just thought that it would be funny if he was looking for his umbrella uh, because there was also an umbrella sticker, moment sticker that I had gotten. <laughs> so. Um, he was looking for his umbrella and then it's on the other side of the page. I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, this uh, kind of cross-stitching um, gingham pattern, I got inspired by Beatrice's journal here on YouTube. She was doing this in her bullet journal and I just love the way it looked. So it looks like washi or something or like an extra paper, but it's just me making these um, cross-stitched or like crossed lines with my Muji highlighter um, here and here and it looks really nice. I'm gonna keep using that so thank you Beatrice for that inspiration. Sunday was my last study day, Monday was my final exam. <clears throat> my voice is really starting to crack. Yeah so Monday was my final exam and I put this beautiful sticker from, I cannot remember the name, let's have a quick check. Honey Plum Paper. And I had purchased it specifically for that reason that I can put it down on the day that I finally finish my exam. So there's a school holding flowers and I just thought that was appropriate for finishing medical school exams for the year. <clears throat> yes. Oh, I just I just have no words for how much I'm enjoying this. Uh, here's some ephemera from yesterday. I went to Choosing Keeping for the first time and I think I'm gonna go there again this Saturday with Jo. This Jo Journals, uh, she once again introduced this shop to me and I'm grateful for that. I only got some ink, some brown uh, Kaweco ink for my fountain pen that I actually trialed and wrote with it here but I didn't realize that it was actually really dark brown rather than the color of the box. <laughs> um, however, it was only two pounds, so very much not a money sinker. Um, so I wrote with it here. It's very similar to the black, um, but I'm not mad about it. It's it's quite nice um, to write with brown ink, but I am waiting on perhaps getting another fountain pen. Um, I will only be ever getting fountain pens second hand, so I am in keeping with my budget, but I might then maybe keep the brown ink in this one and fill my new one with black ink, but I shall fill you in on that on Sunday. And here we are. Those are my pages that I've so far made in my new AVEC. I am recognizing that this, this video is becoming increasingly longer and longer, so let's round it off by just quickly showing you this book. Um, it is a continuation of this passport sized uh, Moomin, so this notebook from the Moomin shop in Finland. And I just basically logged one month in photos in here. And someone on Instagram said that they just loved um, this little book that I had. And I was just like, me too. Like I really loved it as well. Um, and they were saying that I should make a flip through and maybe get a second one and I 100% agree. Um, I was planning on getting a second one anyway and what I ended up getting was this uh, passport size uh, insert from Traveller's Company and I wanted to try out the Midori paper, the smooth Midori paper inside of here. And um, I got this for the continuation of this basically and I actually got a one of the Travelers Company special Moomin Edition stickers from a new friend at the Stationery Fest. So I put it in there to kind of give it that continuation of the Moomin, the Moomin vibes. And uh, I'll be doing a full flip through of this book once it is completed, but here are just like a couple of things that I have so far put in here. Um, and here is like kind of my current pile, so my um, AVEC as well as my traveler's notebook, including my stationery. So 
I was really excited to talk to you guys about this and show it to you. There's more uh, pictures in here, especially showing my photography, so I'm excited to share it to you when it is fully completed. And I'm just closing it with this uh, with this elastic, but to be honest, this elastic is becoming looser and looser, so maybe I even need to double, double band it here. All right. That is it i think <laughs> so let's round off now um something a little announcement that i wanted to say at the end of this video is that the common corner is turning six months this sunday so uh, to celebrate that i will just be making a very chatty video kind of talking a bit more about um myself maybe i just thought that maybe it would be time to introduce myself properly um, so you can have an idea who is the person behind the common corner sitting in this little corner of, of the world um, every week. <laughs> um, and I guess now I've already introduced myself with my name, but I'll be talking a bit more about myself on Sunday. And I actually wanted to give you a chance if you have any questions. I'm not expecting that a lot of people will have questions because I know that our community is still quite small, even though in my eyes it's a really big community already. Um, but if anyone does have questions, I'm going to make a community post about the six month celebration of Common Corner. And I'll also be posting a little uh, thing on my Instagram stories where people can ask questions anonymously. So if you'd like to ask an anonymous question, uh, please do head over to Instagram. I think that's the best way that I can do the anonymous questions. Um, so apologies if you don't have Instagram, but if you'd like to ask it anonymously, head over there if you don't mind. Um, you can either ask it there or if you, you can ask it here on the community tab under the post that I'm going to make in a few hours. So yes, um, and I, I will be answering those questions then as well as updating you on my uh, new EVEC journey. Perfect timing as there is some construction starting outside, maybe <laughs> some drilling at least. Um, I will be signing off for the day and heading over outside for a little sunny walk and maybe continuing reading my book. Thank you for tuning in and I hope that you have a really lovely rest of your day. I will see you later this week on Sunday. Bye bye!